Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to cover my plants with a plastic tote to protect my plants from frost. It is a very cheap and easy way to protect few plants from frost. However, I'm also going to test it and see how effective it is. So let's get started. Frost has been hitting hard this year and lots of my plants are struggling to survive in the frost. While kale and some other plants are somewhat frost resistant, it is better to protect the plants to ensure that they continue to keep growing. Frost freezes the water inside the plants and when the frozen water expands, it destroys plant cells killing the plants in process. To remedy the situation, I bought a clear plastic tote. This one cost just $7. This tote is big enough to cover multiple plants. Simply cover desired plants with this tote. This tote retains humidity very well and it is big enough to support the growth of bigger plants. This tote is very easy to use and easy to pick up and reuse wherever needed. To prevent cold air from seeping in, use soil or dead leaves to cover the sides of the tote. The tote will allow sunlight and protect plants from frost. This tote is very efficient in locking in the moisture and retaining humidity inside the tote. I'm a big believer of testing and finding proof, so I'm going to use this Govi product to measure temperature and humidity. I'm going to place one outside as a control and one inside the tote to compare results. Govi is a very handy product. This particular product contains two sensors that record temperature and humidity and one receiver that hooks up to the wall and connects to Wi-Fi. The sensors are moisture resistant and good to use outdoors. I'm placing one outside and one inside the plastic tote. I'll leave a link to the product in the description of the video if you're interested in purchasing one. After placing the sensor, I covered all sides of the tote with soil so that it locks in heat and humidity. After running the system for a day, the readings are in. Control is on the left side and plastic tote on the right. The maximum temperature for the day was 83 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 28 degrees Celsius, while the maximum temperature inside the plastic tote went up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature for the day was 31.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative 0.1 degrees Celsius, just below freezing, while the temperature inside the tote was about 34 degrees Fahrenheit or 1 degree Celsius. There is no big difference at night because there is no sunlight or source of heat to contain in the tote. However, the box does protect plants from frost. The plastic tote was 21 degree Fahrenheit or 11.6 degrees Celsius warmer during the day and 2 degree Fahrenheit or 1.1 degree Celsius warmer at night. The humidity drops during the day and rises back up at night. The control indicates that the maximum humidity at night was 99.9% .9 because we have had clouds and rain, while the maximum humidity in the tote was comparable, which is 99.4%. The difference is apparent in humidity retention. The minimum humidity during the day drops to 23.4%, while the minimum humidity in the plastic tote only drops to 47.4%. This is because the plastic tote is very efficient in retaining humidity during the day. The tote retained 24% more humidity during the day. All in all, the tote protects plants from frost, provides warmth, and retains humidity. I really hope you found this video interesting and helpful. I also made a video about five low-cost greenhouse ideas. If you're interested, check that video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description, and I'll see you in another video.